Well, it's definitely a night to be weather aware. Well, renters say a Sunday afternoon turned dark quickly when shots rang out at a North Little Rock apartment complex. Yeah, police were called out to the shorter garden apartments just before two this afternoon. People in the area say they heard multiple shots fire one after another, injuring a young girl who has now been taken to the hospital. And Madison Gaffner joins us live from the North Little Rock Police Headquarters. Madison, you spoke with Arkansas Stop the Violence Movement's director and president after seeing the scene for yourself and Clearly, it was a scary situation for everyone involved. Well, Jessica Gary, when we arrived at the scene around 3 p.m., the scene was still very active. North Little Rock Police Department was still there on this scene, as well as evidence markers scattering the street following a gun violence event, which is a huge part that a statewide movement is trying to stop. You have a minor involved, you know, it just it makes it even worse. Reverend Benny Johnson, the president of Arkansas Stop the Violence, sharing his thoughts on gun violence that continues to grow after a Sunday afternoon shooting injured a young female at the Shorter Garden Apartments. It's just a cycle. So we have to somehow change that cycle. And Pastor Walter Cochran, the director of Arkansas Stop the Violence Movement, says it starts with working with youth to teach them an important lesson. Well, first we have to... Um, Try to teach our youth that they're important people, that they're made and create an image of God. Both of them agreeing if a community is divided, they fall. But if a community stands together, they can solve anything. If we come neighborhood by neighborhood, come together collectively, we can help in a lot of this nonsense and all this senseless homicides and violence that's going on in our city. But we're going to have to work together. And it takes a certain approach. And we got to be more proactive instead of reactive. Teaching ways to solve conflict without resulting to gun violence because it can change everything for everyone involved. You need to think a million times before you pull that trigger because once that gun come out that chamber, there's no coming back. And once you kill that person, two people are lost. One to the graveyard and one to the system. Now, the North Little Rock Police Department says that the juvenile victims injuries are non life threatening and that there were no other injuries reported. I'm Madison Gaffner reporting live here in North Little Rock. Now back to you.